The process toward retail cannabis in New York State hitting a road bump with an ongoing lawsuit. Yeah, but despite the challenges, some hopeful business owners are still preparing for the up-and-coming industry. Of course, we're Skylar Eagle live at the Capitol this morning with the latest for us. Skylar. Ryan, Christina, the lawsuit comes from a Michigan-based company who claims that the process to obtain retail cannabis licenses in New York State is discriminatory against people who live outside of New York. A judge took action with the lawsuit, blocking five New York regions from moving forward with opening dispensaries, including Central and Western New York, Mid-Hudson, Brooklyn, and the Finger Lakes. Some business owners in Rochester say while they don't know where their application stands because of the lawsuit, they they formed a coalition to communicate with the OCM on any progress and are hopeful for the industry's impact on the region. Rochester is the, the top five of poverty in, in the nation. So like talk about reinvesting the capital back into, you know, the, the, the community. Well, this could take a year. It could take two years. Everybody else is going to capitalize off of that, but our community. The Office of Cannabis Management is now waiting to hear on a motion that would limit the ruling to just the Finger Lakes. And meanwhile, here in the Capital Region, local dispensaries are gearing up to open within the matter of weeks. You'll hear more about that coming up in our next half hour. For now, live in Albany, Skyler Eagle News 10, ABC.